Hello and welcome back to Lord Fan Gaming Plays the Bar Cell Fortress Cut Walkthrough Video. I'm your host, Lord Fan, and today's the Bar Cell Fortress Cut Walkthrough Video. We are on the Blood of Kings Part 2. Yes, this is going to be a Part 7 series. We're on number 2 right now. As always, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more Bar Cell content like this. And do not forget to hit that notification bell to be updating my videos and more. In the last video, we got sidetracked and went inside the Necromancer's Vault. And completed two side quests. Now we're going to surge ahead and try to get inside the castle. Right now we're still outside. There are many things to do, including these block puzzles here. So let me explain really quick. These block puzzles here are used for stairs. Yeah, you're going to try to make a stair right here. Just get going to get to a lever and uh, open the gate. Really simple, really easy. Just follow my steps and you'll uh, get it done with ease. So first thing we're going to do is move one of the blocks right here like I did recently. And I'm going to give a second look. You always want a second opinion because you may never know. It's a good idea just to look around. This is a single block so we can put that one single area that's all the way down there. Next is to actually figure out how to uh, get the uh, two, two stack one there. We just got to push it one more uh, time and I'll uh, do it here. Yep, there we go. One more time and... Voila, puzzle one has been solved. So I'm going to show you why you should be doing this. See, we're walking and there you have it. Now next up is we're going to have to figure out how to get the two-story one there and over there. So we push that one that is very easy. Do not move any more of the uh, little one, uh, of course. If you do, yeah, bad things happen. So we're just going to move over here. We're not going to move it anymore because we're going to move it somewhere else. So we move this here, move this here like this, just do exactly like I am. And you'll solve the puzzle with ease. Look at that, folks. See, look at that. One more time, and there you have it. Now we have ourselves a ladder, or I should say stair. Sorry, my mistake, stairs. Stairway to heaven, folks. Well, that's a reference from a certain movie. Of course, I'm going to get denied, but oh well. We go over here, flip the lever, and look at that. We got ourselves a way through. Pretty simple, pretty easy, and real fun to do. Really uh, simple here. So we're going to go over here, go through the gate. We're going to go invisible because we're going to get into some serious trouble. Yeah, we are. So here is to uh, combat right up ahead about now. If you think we can't... To the last drop. Drop Kalanish! Tell me what to do. Hi. Come on, fight. Let's do something. Come on, you big git. I'll glass you. I ready, I suppose. Ready for orders. Ready. Yeah. 
Another one. Wow. Good news is we have all survived. Bad news is the uh, skeleton archers try to get a late hit on Lawrence. Big mistake. I'm going to switch out some uh, gear in the process too, most likely, because... Yeah, I'm starting to like not like the uh, lack of options, which is unfortunate. Still, let me switch this out. Yeah, that's the cost of the strike spear. You lose a spot. However, you gotta swap swap out that uh, one spot because uh, you have high strength in this spear. Yeah, that spear is great until you go to the DLC dungeon called Heron Hold. Now, if you have the director's cut, that is free. I'm not sure about Burrow's Deep, but I think it might be free too. Still, it's the uh, perks only in the uh, director's cut, which is very nice because you own Heron Hold free. Great dungeon, by the way. So let's look at this right now. We got some Archmage gear. Me personally, best in the game right here. Seriously, it is the absolute best in the uh, game here. So we're going to do that right here. And we're going to just do right now is just set everything up. Now, here's my advice about this, uh, the Blood of Kings. Plenty of Dragon Bile Bombs. A lot of food and a lot of alcohol. Why? This is a long quest. It is longer than the best of us. So be prepared for anything. So yeah, that's why I'm telling everybody bring supplies. Fairy bombs is highly recommended because those fairy bombs can clear out a field really quick. So we're going to make a shortcut with the dragon bile bombs. There you go. And we have our way through. So next stop is a whole bunch of foes. We're going to trash right up ahead. I'll return afterwards they're dead. Insignificant Ready to go! I want a piece of me! I'll take you all On your what? Tell me what to do. Um, am I supposed to be doing something? Yes. 
That was pretty simple. Yeah, that was pretty easy right there. Yeah, we trashed him. My uh, main character who took most of the uh, brunt of the damage, which is all right. I mean, he's a fighter. He's supposed to take damage. Still, let me get rid of these necromancer totems right here. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I think that is a bad idea. Yeah, Spectre Touch is nice, but yeah, it looked like that's a bad idea here. Let me see if I can switch something back to it, at least. I think I was doing a time recording. And let me see over here. I'm just looking around. Oh, that is much better. There, we'll equip that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good right there. We'll have two more slots. That is a main hand slot right here. Okay, that is much, much better. And let me look for a, uh, something else to equip it with. All right, well, uh, keep the bones for now. And let's see where it's at. Where's my arcane barrage? Yeah, I cannot leave home without it. That was too uh, little uh, space right here. Two little options, even though I'm supposed to be a summoner for that character, but arcane barrage is a nice tool, so you have both your characters uh, abuse that. Why? You should. And we're going to play that funky music. There you go. Funky music has been played. And now we're going to go over here and get some supplies. Yeah. Look at where at this point. We got some grain. That means more bread. We can use that to actually uh, make some more things. Alcohol or better yet sandwiches. Cheap food that heals you well. It's uh, alright. It's not better than your uh, shepherd's pies and stews. Still, it's a nice alternative. And I got lost a little. So let me uh, fast forward to the uh, right area here. And let me hit that button. There you go. I played the uh, stone song right there to fix the stones. I was supposed to go the other way. I messed up. Not the uh, way of the uh, bramble. I just uh, sing goodbye to. Yeah, instead uh, the other way. Yeah, I yeah yeah. I was supposed to go the other way. And right now, up ahead will be some uh, foes. So what I'm gonna do right now is get in a position, and I'll stomp them. I'll return after. Yes, away I go. Ready. Ready. I even try my. Here! Say that again, I dare you! What? You don't let me. Your mother's. Ha! Mother's. Ah! 
to the last drop. Out of my way! Game that will lie! Nedurior, set potential labor sit! Get up! Do your best! That was a fun battle right there. Seriously, that was so much uh, fun here. And we're going to just use that right there. And let's see what's over here, up and over. Yeah, might as well get up and over right now. And there you go. We went up. So let's uh, check everywhere else out right here. Let's go heal up first. Yeah, let's uh, use uh, one of our uh, good stuff this time. And I'll just couple it with sandwich due to Scarlet's uh, high hit points. Yeah, she has a shield. They tend to have high hit points and armor. Still, it's a nice option for your fire to have a shield. My other character, yeah, he has uh, two swords. Going for more of that strength oomph, which is actually uh, pretty uh, good. So that's good right here. We're going to go down this path right here. And on the way, we'll click some barrels. Yeah, loot every barrel you can at this point because you may uh, never uh, know. And I think I'm supposed to go through this uh, archway here. Yeah, there you go. Through the archway in this runes castle and there's a stone circle yes and there uh checkpoint to use to play that song but beforehand we need to get into position and uh attack the enemies yeah we need to do that so i'm gonna do is get in a position right now beforehand let me uh see if i can play this uh, trial song if i can't i'll just get into combat and call it a day and let well, come on come on come on and let me loot this up that's good. Ooh, that's good right here. So let me clear this area out so I can start this puzzle right here after uh, combat. Sure. I huh? yes. Cheer. Yes. 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 I. Ready. Whatever. I need a drink. I hope you brought enough for everyone. Mascari! Am I supposed to be Ready. I? Away I go. Ready. 
Ready. Really? Get to the last drop. Get over there! Time Out to of my way, fool! There you go, we have won the battle. This is very important. We won because we could play the song right here, the first song right here. There you go. Now we have a fast travel system right here. So more fast travel options, the better it is for all of us. Now this next uh, puzzle right here, there are three tall stacks. We have to get over here in a line like this, like a wall. Good news is, is we're actually going to be using it to go across. It took me a few tries, however, I am going to give everybody the absolutely correct solution. So, listen uh, carefully, so this way you'll solve the puzzle real quick, and do not have to worry. So, you always want to look around your area, so this way you just get a feel of the uh, puzzle. Always want to do that. So, first of all, we're going to push that there, just push it like I did. You're going to be doing fine. Second of all, what we're going to do is over here, is, let's see here, we're going to... Look, see if I could push somewhere else I could push without any uh, interruptions. Yeah, I'm just looking for an option right now to move a certain block. Problem was is I moved one and trapped the other two. Yep, that was not fun at all. So let me see over here real quick before I actually uh, do anything else. So I'm giving myself a second option. There you go, you push this one here. Once you do that, we're able to right now set things up for a push over there yeah like a tall stack one of the uh, tall stacks yeah I'm just looking carefully because you may never know yeah I'm giving myself some nice options so let's see over here I think it's the only way to get through that one is this one here I can move that one back anytime that is the uh, wonderful news so let's see over here yep this one could be pushed at time recording I should have pushed it more one direction so yeah we're gonna push it here there you go push it here at this point, I should have pushed it the other way, but oh well, I still did solve the puzzle, so this is good right here. Now, what got me stuck was is I pushed the wrong block at the wrong time. Yep, accidents are bound to happen. That's all right. We're going to push this one again. There you go. One more uh, push. We have a nice straight line, and there you go. Now, we're going to push this one over here. Problem is that... Uh, we have to push the other one to be a little bit more uh, smarter, like I said before. I should probably should put that one on the other side and make this one the straight shot right there. And let's look over here real quick. I think I was supposed to see here. I'm just trying to think carefully because this one's a tricky one, the third one right here, the third and uh, final one. And yeah, this one is seriously uh, tricky. You get stuck, play the uh, stone reset song, and reset the entire puzzle. That's the uh, bad news. Great news is, is you'll have a fresh rethinking again this puzzle. That's it. And you just push the two blocks I am at this point. I'm almost done at this point right now solving the actual uh, puzzle here. So let me uh, see here. I have to probably push one more one more way and then I'm able to actually get things free. I think I'll push this one right here. And I'm going to do is uh, push this one. Let's see here. Let me see here. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I think I have it the right way. Oh, yes, I do. I think I got it. You uh, push this one right here. There you go. Push the uh, other one. Yeah, there's another one we need to uh, actually uh, move. 
and it's uh, this one. We move this one, and there you go. It's a straight shot. Well, semi-straight shot, but you all get the point. There you go. Now we have a nice uh, line to push for a while. And then we could actually solve the puzzle. So keep on going. Keep on pushing. Just keep on doing it, and uh, just we'll finish in no time. And there you go. We're going to have to push this uh, one of them here to get out of the way. Okay, yeah, yeah. I almost messed that up. So you go over here. You're supposed to go around. And I believe you push this one here. Watch what happens when you push that one there. And push one there. We're going to go up the stairs now. So just follow my uh, direction here. And we're going to be able to go through the uh, gate. And do not forget to loot anything else. And we're almost there. And there's a switch just like the uh, first one in the video. This one is right here. So we're going to look around. Just look carefully. And we're going to flip the switch. As soon as we flip the switch... What will happen is a uh, gate will open. We're going to go through. That's the great news. Bad news is it's a combat. Again. Yep. Enemies are relentless in this game. And we're going to be taking care of the uh, problem. Instead of becoming the problem. If you know what I mean. You go through this archway here. We just open up. And we're going to kill some skeletons. So let's go bash some bones in. And uh, just do it. For now. This would be a challenge. Into the shadows. Come on, fight. Ready for orders. That is it for today's combat. Those ruins look very uh, cool right there. Oh yeah, that does look cool. So let me uh, get some secrets out, do some more exploring, or I should say exploring around more like it. And I'm just going to finish the video there. So let me use my Dragon Bile Bombs. You definitely want to use those. If you uh, don't use those, you're going to miss out on a lot of opportunity. Have a character at least learn bomb making. My rogue, for example, was a great candidate for it. And she does toss fairy bombs around, and yeah, she could kill a few foes. That's it right there. It makes herself more useful and more uh, worth it. Especially she is a trial, because every time she kills a foe, she gets a free opportunity point. She can throw another bomb. Wait for two or three more rounds, and then the fun begins. And that fox is pointing us to the right direction. I guess Mother Nature's uh, 
giving us hints now without actually interfering, which is very good. Seriously, that is uh, very uh, good. So let me uh, go up these uh, ruined stairs here and just keep on going. I'm going to get to a certain point and then I'll just give a lowdown before I actually will uh, end the video here. This is a seven part video of the Blood of Kings. So yeah, there's going to be a lot of uh, stuff with this quest. This is the longest quest in the entire uh, game. The second longest, I believe, is the Best of Us. You can say Heron Hold is number three or the Scarce Grove or better yet... The, uh, into the woods. It's everybody's preference on it, or even Mangar's bones. So what went down in today's video is we got introduced to the uh, two block puzzle to make some stairs. We solved those, kicked so many enemies butts in this video. Now in the next video we're going to still be outside, however we're going to be getting closer to that castle. Well that's it for the Barcel 4 Dress Cut walkthrough video, The Blood of Kings Part 2. This is Lord Fent signing off. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day or night.